you know what? <laughs> Sit on down, everybody. We got so much to talk about. I know. I know. It's a good day. First of all, awesome. Awesome. I know it's a good crowd. Yes. We want to wish everyone out there a happy Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. Day. Yes. One you of know, the best days of the year. it's one of the best days because it's a day to note that it's more than just a day off. Today is a day when we take the time to honor and celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. King. Dr. King used his voice to stand up for justice, truth, and compassion yes. in a time when speaking up for those things wasn't always easy. Yeah. And many people today continue to fight for the same principles Dr. King fought for and in doing so, honor his legacy through their service. Yes. And I, I you know, I mean, it's a so lot great. of people, but I, you know, you know, I got my all-time hits, like yeah. Oprah, Tyler Perry. Yes. They really but do, I believe, to carry it on. help that to give that true. legacy, yes. you know. And also, I want to shout out my friend, White House correspondent, April Ryan. She does a really good job mm -hmm. of covering the White House. Yes. And, um, helping to, to keep the information going. Yes, you know, absolutely. That. And I think when we recently saw in the Golden Globes, I mean, the whole Time's Up movement, which is happening all the time from here on yeah. out, that was a nice echo to Dr. Martin Luther King's speech yeah, sure. to continue the movement today. Um, so that's definitely one that, that is happening currently. I also like, pe I really admire people who thrive in being uncomfortable. I'm one of those people. Mm -hmm. When I get comfortable, mm -hmm. I get really anxious and uneasy, and mm -hmm. then things have to shift, because I gotta mold and grow. And people, if I'm honest, white people who speak up for the inequalities, um, speak up for minorities, those are my favorites. Matt McGorry, one of them, huge activist, feminist, um, very vocal about yes. what's wrong out there. Um, he's an new black, too. Yes. He's an amazing yeah. actor. Yes, he actually, he and I bonded over a Black Lives Matter march, and we, like, learned so much together there. Another one is Liz Plank. If you don't know, you've got to follow. Her Instagram is called yes. The Fabulous Fe Feminist. Scene. She's so funny and she's so dope and she's woke, as you would, you know, <laughs> yeah. describe her, but she's so on point with what needs to be heard today with the Caucasian generation, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, just race. And then my favorite is Elaine Welteroth, hands down, during my girl from yeah. the Bay, man. She's Oakland all day. She completely redirected what young readers are doing with Teen Vogue magazine, taking it away from just fashion and moving it into race, moving it into women, women, moving it into confidence. Yes, yeah, I heard yes. that. I love that. I know. It's, you know, and I also want to give a shout out to the person that really helped to make this holiday come. I think he pushed a lot, and he's the singer, Stevie Wonder. I yes. mean, Stevie. Yeah. He, I mean, every time we sing happy birthday, you know, black people, we got to go, no, we got to do the yes, Stevie yes. Wonder happy version. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay. A lot of people don't know what that song is about. Right. People just think it's a happy birthday song, but the song no. is actually talking about Dr. Martin Luther King and the fact that they were fighting to make it uh, a holiday, right. which now we have and we get to yes. celebrate. So nice. thank you, Stevie. Oh, thank you, Stevie Wonder. That's yeah. good. I didn't know that. I, uh, my husband pointed that out to me, and I thought that was so cool. Yeah. Well, that just shows how people can, use artists can use their voice Absolutely. and their art to try to transcend and make things happen. Yeah. You know? I just want to give a shout out to my grandmother, Claritha Richardson. It's her birthday today. Ooh, happy hey. birthday, Grandma. Yes. That's a great birthday. Yes, I know. A great birthday. Yeah. You guys, she is awesome. 89 years old. Wow. Oh she has a better mind than I do, I swear. <laughs> she does. I love you, Grandma Mama, and she watches the show she does? every Every single day. Hi, Grandma. Oh, yes. my God. Happy, happy birthday. Her happy birthday. birthday. Well, um, someone that inspires me all the time is Shonda Rhimes. Yeah. I yeah. love her. She's a television writer, producer. Yes. And the thing about her, she's all about equality. Yeah and shedding light on social injustice. Yes. And she incorporates that within her television shows. And she not only has one hit show, you guys, she has four hit what? shows that yeah. are airing All right now. at the same time. And yeah. she just made a multi-year deal with Netflix. Huge. So you know she's gonna do amazing things there. What I really love about her shows, coming from, you know, like, my actress point of view, she creates characters that are complex, um, educated, juicy, <laughs> and for people of color. Yeah. And you don't get to see that, you know, a lot. So Shonda Rhimes, thank you, thank you, thank you. No. And continue to, so continue to do amazing things. I also
also like couples that work together. Yes. Like yes. Um, Angela Rye and yes, Common, Common are yes. together yes. now. And it's I think beautiful. that's so, they're the perfect yes. little couple to, you know, work, you know, because, yes. you know, they can like yes. be Enter. all like, yeah, they can go march and they can go march home. This. Very <laughs> much so. <laughs> so we love Angela Rye. Also, I want to give a shout out to Don Lemon. Don Lemon yes. is doing his thing on CNN. Mm -hmm. He's always a host. Yes. He, he comes here and co-hosts a lot of times and he takes a lot of hits for us. Um, whether you agree with him or not. Yeah. But that's what you need in, in our society mm -hmm. right now. People that are willing to take the hits, are willing to ask the hard questions. So, you know, I'm really happy and yes. I'm just happy that he's my friend. I love you, Don Lemon. That is awesome. He's, he's very cool. sweet, yeah. too. Yeah. I would say some other people that are carrying the charge for Dr. Martin Luther King are the ladies that worked with the Women's March yes. Yes. that yes. happened in Washington. Uh, Co-presidents Tamika Mallory, Bob Bland, and Treasurer Carmen Perez. Yes. I actually got a chance to meet oh. Carmen and I was so inspired um, just talking to her because she's an incredible person. She spent her entire, she has spent her entire life uh, fighting for equality and fighting injustice. And I think that's so incredible just to see what they did. Guys, there were four, I think it's five, five million people came together for the Women's March. And I think it's just so awesome to see people standing up for yeah. what they believe in. And it was very similar to the... Uh, the march that Dr. King did yes. in Washington as well. And it not only happened in Washington this time around with the Women's March, yes. it happened all, all over the world. world. Yeah. 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 That's so huge. they are definitely huge. carrying the torch. While those people are certainly woke to the issues going on in the world nowadays, not everyone always is. The term woke, which is tied to the Black Lives Matter movement, has become very popular. You hear it in songs, social media, and everyday conversation, mm -hmm. right? However, one blogger from the medium recently wrote about how the term woke has become too trendy, with people saying they're woke more for personal gain instead of actually supporting marginalized groups. So ladies, do you think a lot of people who say they, they're woke actually really aren't doing enough to Back it up. Well, well mm. what do you mean by backing it up? I mean... Putting their words into action, that if you're saying you're woke, you know what's going on, what are you doing about it? I don't think people who are woke, though, would be saying they're woke, because you're not... You're not... You're not... You're not... Are woke. You be woke. You yes. just be it. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. act like Hold on, I'm saying. Saying. Wait, what? You know you're saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You just like you can't, it. You're you can't be it. like, yo, I'm woke. I'm yeah. totally woke. Well, you're yeah. so busy saying you're woke, you're not just being it. That's well, an I, action yeah, to just be, woke. be woke. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Putting it into action. Yeah. yeah. I, but I think, I understand what you're saying about it can be trendy and so people are like, let me I'm get on this I'm not saying that this, this guy yeah, is no, saying. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. the article. Yeah. Just but saying, y'all. Don't be, hit me up. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, they'll hit you up. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I'm down. Relax. Um, <laughs> I'll give you examples, okay. okay? Let's give you some examples. Mm -hmm. Remember when Jesse Williams made that wonderful speech at the BET Awards? Yes. yes. And it was about black women and the love for black women. We was like, yes, Jesse, yes. Yes. And then he turned around and he um, ended up uh, getting a divorce and allegedly he was with a white woman. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> okay. Okay, y'all know where I'm coming from, okay? I don't, but elaborate. No, because what happens is sometimes you have to be careful with letting people label you and, and put oh. this, like, now everything is on you because then people have these expectations. You feel the pressure, And too. you feel pressure. So it's like we can't ne necessarily label people a certain type of way and then when they have their own... Because per they, they're lives. allowed to have personal lives yeah. and, and okay. personal things and you can't let that affect your judgment. Yeah, because you know? God forbid you say out loud, oh, I love, you know, black men and then... God forbid you end up falling in love with an Asian, Lonnie. Well, let that's me tell you up. what happened. That's me... messed up, though. One that's time. That's fair. Let me tell you one time. You this can was... still love black men. This was about four or five years ago at the Essence Fest, right? Okay. But the actor, director, um, Nate Parker, he was in a movie, uh -huh. and they had these panels at the Essence Fest, mm -hmm. right? And we had screened a movie. It's about 200, 300 black women. Yeah. And Nate Parker is sitting there, and this is the first time we actually met Nate Parker. Mm -hmm. And he was like, he was talking about his love for the black woman. 200, 300 <laughs> women. He's like, yeah, I love black women. Black women, nothing like a strong. And this, this, this. We like, we gassed up. We gassed. <laughs> And so they had a question and answer session, right? And a girl stood up and said, excuse me, I just Googled you oh. and you got a white wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... The that whole, that wait a minute, let me finish. The whole room went silent. They were like... Did? No, because can you imagine you yes. sitting up so in this room... why can't you compliment another race? <laughs> oh, 
and not know his mama. mama. Yeah, I don't get I it. Like, mama, he loves yes, his mama. mama. She doesn't strong. mean she's black. Uh, uh, I don't. Uh, y'all don't get it because y'all ain't black. No, I y'all get it. <laughs> I get it. I don't get it. I I I'm not black enough to understand that. Y'all I get it. it. No, explain like, it. I want to get it. Um, okay, I get it. It's yes. that they they maybe would have wished that he would have been bla- married to a black woman, but. Guys, I think it's okay to love and support and be like, it's like being like, I don't, that's like saying I don't love Latino men because I didn't marry a Latino man. Oh exactly. I, I love Latino exactly. men. I think we're freaking awesome. It depends on what he was saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They not let me finish. So I'm going to let y'all assume. See, no, I want to know <laughs> how black side like, caught that. Okay, I see, man, I, I got to wait it. for the break to Google this. <laughs> I don't get it. So oh, let me finish. Finish. Because the thing is, he was gassing it up like there was no other woman like the black woman, and that's what I'm saying. Be careful what you say and how you say it. Say, oh, okay. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Don't make it seem like that's all you get. And I would be with oh, nothing, body, nobody else. Got it. Da, 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 da. Don't do that because you never know what's gonna happen, or that's you smart. know, not being okay. true to who he yes. is. When yes. he knew, you know, uh, you got okay. a white wife. Don't be, <gasps> don't be gassing oh, yeah. us up. This is how I gassed up. So <laughs> much. No. All that to say, Google will have you messed up. Google will, will expose some things, I'll tell you. He's sitting, is- uh, was sitting uh, right there. But I agree with Ronnie in the sense of, like, don't put the gasolina on stuff that you're not really trying to make saying. a fire yes. about. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Like, yes. like but- don't go the extra mile. Like, if you're, if you're woke, woke, do what you have to do to... Uh, put into action what you think to make the difference for what yes. you think is wrong. But don't sit there all day and talk about, I'm woke, I'm woke, I'm woke. And then we Google things about you that aren't so woke. And that's yeah, what that's we're right. saying. Boom. Well, Gina, the one thing you may want to be a part of, you've all heard of those paint and sip art classes, right? Where you yes. can drink and you drink wine and then you actually paint, right? Have you yes. seen that? Well, Atlanta is kicking it up a notch by offering booze and nudes night. Yes, you heard me right. Uh-huh. The special class offers alcohol the opportunity to paint the male specimen in all his glory, and guess wow. what? They are selling out fast. The creator also says that the models have great personalities so they can actually interact with the crowd as they paint. Oh my God. So ladies, <laughs> would you be down to sketch a stud <laughs> in the nude? You can touch them like that? I don't know if you can touch, oh, jeez. Yes. <laughs> Well, well I, I guess you can. But the way she's biting her lip with that touch. I know. There's something Well, going I guess on. you can touch this part. Look I at don't that. know if you can touch Come on, that girl. part. Man, I... This is yep. a regular Saturday night for me. That's... <laughs> wow. Wait, I you guys, would you go to this? I didn't know these actually existed, I honestly. Like well, regular s- uh, sip and paint, right? There are right. other paint That's classes just... you can go to right. without seeing a man, right. like, just But they done took it to there. another level. That's how the ATL yeah. do it all the yeah. time. Yeah. They yeah. got to yeah. take hey. it to another level. Come on, go. real talk. You know uh, all four of us would be down I for would do like it this. if all of us go. Because I, I think totally it would be, it. like, a fun I experience. Would. You don't want to go with me? Why? I don't, I don't... If it was a woman... Versus yes. and a bunch of men, we would look at it differently. And I think we're just at this point in the country where we shouldn't. I just, I'm not comfortable with that. Okay. I'm just not comfortable so with. So you wouldn't no. go. That's. Yeah, I would. Would you be comfortable if it was a bunch of girls painting a girl? No. I mean, it's just to me, it's just that's no. But wait, remember that this is art, and let's be yeah, looking at it. We gotta be, we gotta be mature. I'm not saying I'm not okay with mature. it. I'm saying that. But look at that picture. Mature. She touching him like that. That's true. Like, okay, but if if the man and and he doesn't look like he's unhappy about that right there. But I'm that saying, looks welcome. If, as long as the ground, uh, everything you know, is secure, meaning this uh, this model is consenting to everything. He feels comfortable being yeah. there. And that everybody is I'm saying, abiding by the rules. How would you feel if that was a woman and it's a bunch of men as doing that? As long as that? it's consensual. As long as it's like she agreed That's to like it. A strip club. Or... Yeah. But some that, people Some see, people like to be in the nude in front of others. I'm thinking from, like, the European perspective. <laughs> right? Oh, that's yes. true. That's a half white side thinking. Oh. Okay. <laughs> European. In Europe, they have a lot of sculptures of men. No, but they, they grow up. And they babies. grow up differently about the human body. Yes. Like, they sometimes they just walk around naked within their, yeah. their homes. And then also, they, they're introduced to alcohol a little bit, you know, earlier. So if it's from a point... <laughs> I'm really justifying it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but from a point of, you know, 
<laughs> okay, let me okay. ask you so to make it. art in Europe. Oh. You went to Rome. There were a bunch of sculptures yes. of like David and Phoebe. From a point of view, how would your husband feel? Perspective. Uh, he would not like it one bit. <laughs> yeah, I, that's the only problem. Yeah, that you is, guys are yeah. making it not fun anymore. I'm not a good drawer, but give me a glass of wine and a fine dude, I put the dude in doodle. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I, first of all, my painting would look so terrible. It would look horrible. I can't even draw a stick figure, but it just sounds like fun. We have to take a break, but before we go, because it's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we want to share with you some powerful words from Dr. King to honor his life and his legacy. Take a look. Now is the time to transform the bleak and desolate midnight of man's inhumanity to man into a glowing daybreak of freedom and justice. Now is the time to open the doors of opportunity to all of God's children. Now is the time to change the pending national elegy into a creative psalm of brotherly love. 